everybody, welcome to another exciting day. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the laser show, the internet's most passion show about John Madden NFL 13 football kicking off with a huge, ginormous bang. Show 266. We are talking Seattle Seahawks zone beater. Uh, we just previously talked uh, about 10 minutes ago, I talked about the Seahawks man-beating uh, play for this this playbook. But now let's dive into uh, the Seahawks um, zone beating formation. Enough of the jibber jabber. We'll get straight into it. We'll get the zoomy zoom on. Ah, zoom, zoom, zoom. Ah, zoom, zoom, zoom. Going to the mind of a Marshawn Lynch. Going to the mind of a Hustle Russell Wilson. Going to the mind of that guy. <laughs> All right. Now we'll go back into the PlayStation 3, go back into the mind of an S. Gibbs from MaddenTips.com. For those that aren't aware, uh, we just came out with a new uh, offensive wild card guy. You can check that out, MaddenTips.com. Uh, it is the new Gun Heavy Panther offense. It is going to be um, an offense that helps you convert short yard situations, win more games, and uh, improve your online rankings or league rankings or whatever your goal is, man. You're going to improve uh, via this offense. So you can check that out and just let you know it's Detroit Playbook. It's the new Gun Heavy Panther. It's the Gun Heavy Panther, if you didn't know, it was um, patched and fixed. So a lot of the issues that were a lot of people were having with that formation and how the success that people have with that formation uh, no longer uh, can we use that for our advantage anymore. So uh, we have the new Gun Heavy Panther, Detroit Playbook. Check that out on mantips.com. And, uh, you know, guys, subscribe, pass this, pass this uh, channel along, let other people know what we're doing here. We appreciate that. Uh, hope you enjoy TWIM. Hope you enjoy the Daily Show. I hope you, Mad End TV, if you will. Um, shout out to a couple guys, Ryan, my man Adam, Ryan Ali. Uh, we got Wolfman. We got just, I can't even think, guys on guys on guys on guys on guys, Ryan Dykes. Uh, we got my man Cody Ballard, my man Zan. Uh, Madden Secret Society shout out. Just a special little Friday shout out for a couple guys. Of course, Z Farls. So let's uh, take a look, though at our zone beating formation that we want to take a look at. We like to just kind of go through. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think number one, my, one of my favorite plays in the game to attack zone coverage, uh, without a doubt, it's got to be four verticals. And this play is really good at attacking uh, zone coverage and man coverage. Simple, something really simple about this play is, um, you, you know, you're sending four receivers deep, and you kind of sort of always want to look at the X receiver as your option. I like to put Marshawn Lynch on an out on an in pattern because that's also a pretty difficult read for your opponent to uh, to, to check down to because you're going to be hit, hitting them over the top so much with this X pattern. If I can get there, uh, that it's going to be hard for them to be able to also defend underneath. Uh, that route to Lynch. Even though Lynch doesn't have great catching, maybe with uh, been Mar uh, uh, Neon Leon Washington, but also hit him with a couple draws with Beast Mode. Guy's an uh, absolute monster. He's, I think he's 92 speed now, so he's increased with the update today. Uh, but you, what I also like about four verticals is the op, the also the threat of um, an out route on, on one side of the field with the underneath uh, flat we have to uh, Lynch there. We place him on a swing pattern left. You can do a wheel, whatever you want, but I love it. I love that threat because then, and then if they do play cover two sink, I want to show you what will still happen. If they do play cover two sink, you still have the ability to beat them um, at their own game, at the own, uh, at, uh, still beat their own defense. I'm stuttering all over myself today. I'm so sorry, guys. But um, yeah, so again, here's here's that route, uh, the X pattern. You want to wait. He got chucked, but you want to wait for him. Again, that's your main read. You also have the out to the left. Your main read is going to be as he breaks over the middle of the field. And you might be wondering, why does this work? Well, you got to think uh, about how defenses work and just the – you don't want to overcomplicate how you play Madden. A cover three, if you don't know what a cover three, a cover three has three defenders that – patrol deep part of the field and that you know what I'm gonna save this I'm gonna do a video series after this after I do and I'm gonna I'm gonna break down the simplicity the simple things of Madden 
like cover three, cover two, all those little things that people might not understand. Back to basics, if you've been following me for a while, I'm gonna do a back to basics video. Uh, to the simple things that, that uh, hopefully we can help some of you guys out there. Uh, I'm actually gonna save that. I'm gonna save that little tidbit of information. You're gonna have to wait for that show. Uh, but I think it's gonna be really helpful. Uh, in terms of how you look at Madden, how you look at football, how you look at defenses, and how you adjust and attack, um, all, all simple things that you can do. Madden, Madden football, in, in, in theory, right, guys, is, is a very easy game. It's very easy to attack whatever you want in Madden when you think about it. You know, here it is. So if I pick a play four verticals, we, we won't dive too much into it, but I pick a play four verticals. You see that all, I think a normal person that isn't analyzing or go, diving too deep sees four verticals and they see four receivers just running straight downfield. So you take a look at that, that play. If I pick that play, and I pick a, a zone that says cover two, look at the actual play art on the, on the field, and you see the cover two. How many defenders are defending the deep part of the field? Now you're going to see two. Now if you remember, the play I picked has four defenders downfield. Think about the math. Think about that. If I send four receivers at two defenders deep, who wins that matchup, right? Four against two, who wins that matchup? Well, most times the four against two should win. The two has, the, has a chance to recover, has a chance to win down the sideline or make a play, but more times than not, the four is gonna beat the two. And this is how I think about attacking zone coverage, whether it's a downfield, whether it's horizontally, whether it's one side of the field. What you need to do, this is a universal tip, this isn't even Seahawks tip, but what you need to do at home is, okay, if I wanna be to cover three, I need to put more receivers in that area of the field and attack that part of the field than they have defenders guarding it. So let's take a look at a play like Strong Flood. See the routes on the right side of the field. See how there's a vertical, there's a flat, and then there's a deep out. Okay, so there's three receivers on that side of the field all running at one area of the field. Now let's again take a look at um, the cover three. So the cover three, you see there's three defenders on the right side of the field. Now this play does a good job at doing exactly what we were talking about. So you see that worked. Uh, now I'm not making any hot routes here guys. This is just simple math. This is a simple, simplistic way of attacking zone coverages. I'm not going to use big words. I'm not going to use the Z receiver. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to call him the Sam linebacker, the Mike linebacker. Why? Because I think that's confusing. I think that's football elitism trying to explain a video game. I don't. That's not what I'm going to do. That's not what I'm about. Could I do it? Kinda, <laughs> sorta, sorta, but not not to the point that I'm an NFL head coach. No. But what I can tell you is that attacking zone coverage is all about sending more receivers to one area of the field than there are defenders defending that part of the field. So what you see here, again, in this cover in this cover three, you have one flat defender, you have one hook zone, and you have one deep defender in that third of the field. Remember, the field is also broken into thirds. So you have the right, right sideline, which is everything from the hash over to the sideline. The hash is those dotted lines on the right side. Then you have the middle of the field, which in my opinion is between the hashes, and then maybe about like three yards wide of each hash. And then that's the other third is the other sideline. So the defense is broken up into thirds. When I'm attacking zone coverages, I like to attack typically one third of the field, and that's the area of where I attack the zone coverage. Then off of that, I like to have on the backside, just in case, if it is man-to-man, -man, I like to have an isolated receiver in a one-on-one -on -one situation where I think that receiver can beat that man-to-man -man defense if my, if my initial read is wrong. So that's how I attack zone coverage. I like using trips formations and bunch formations. As you can see, it's a trips formation. What's a trips formation? A trips formation is anything that has three receivers on one side of the field. A bunch is the same thing. A bunch would be, they're, they're, see how these guys are spread? They're spread apart. A bunch would be as if they're all compressed next to each other tight. So that would be a bunch formation. So again, send more receivers than there are defenders to that one specific area of the field, and you should typically win that matchup. And that's how you, I want you to think about attacking zone coverages. You might think, well, I called trips, and then I hot routed, and I dragged, and I did a, a curl, 
but how come I couldn't defend it? How come the how come the flat defender went there? You're going to see the flat defender is going to drop off and, and get uh, greater depth on the field if there's no immediate threat in the flat, that part of the field. But if I put a flat defender over in that area of the field, and even if I did put Baldwin on a, on a, a drag pattern, I should still have Rice open because I have the flat pattern underneath that's keeping the flat defender at bay while the deep zone drops deep, leaving the curl open underneath. That's how zone, that's how you attack zone in Madden NFL 13. Again, it's very simple. You don't want to overcomplicate things. Don't don't try and, you know, I, I personally that I just think that, you know, it's the it's the tagline. Simplicity is the ultimate complexity, okay? It's something that you want to make easy f- Make it easy for yourself, right? Don't try and do it something that you're not. You know, I'm not trying to use the proper terminology on purpose. You know, I call I call a buzz zone a purple zone because that's the color it represents in the game. It's easier for people to understand what a purple zone is because people know what purple is, opposed to if I call it a buzz zone, you might not know what a buzz zone is if you don't have any type of football knowledge, but you sure as heck will know what a purple zone is because it's represented as that color in the game. So that's just kind of how I look at it. I don't think you need to overcomplicate things. Zone is very easy to beat as long as you do it the right way. You know, again, the number one rule about attacking zone, send more receivers, more offensive receivers into one part of the field than there are defenders. You call it flooding, you call it overloading, you call it whatever you want. But that's our general rule of how you attack zone coverage in Madden NFL 13 and boys and girls. Great show. I kind of got excited about this show, but you and me together, we are changing the Madden community and we are doing it one snap at a time.